Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 27th of February. I'm James Spann. Not a cloud in the sky today. Weather stays relatively quiet through the weekend. The next week, things turn stormy by midweek. Let's take a look at things this afternoon. There's the upper look. We have a trough over the eastern states and a really dry air mass. That was a visible satellite view. Not a cloud in the sky for all 67 Alabama counties. And again, temperatures well below average. Keep in mind the average high for this date is 62. It's only 46 for Gadsden and Birmingham. Anniston 47, Tuscaloosa 41. We'll be close to freezing again tomorrow morning. And around the nation, the coldest air over the Great Lakes and the northeast U.S., where some folks had some snow over the past 24 hours. In fact, as we speak, we've still got some winter storm issues for the northeast United States, as well as wind advisories there. But things, as you expect down here, are awfully quiet. Severe weather outlook today, no thunderstorms across the country with a stable air mass in place, but the focus is on next week. This is the day six severe weather outlook, and this is for Tuesday. And this has a risk of severe storms just west of Alabama, all of Mississippi and parts of Arkansas, Louisiana, and eastern Texas. And again, we'll talk about the setup as we go, and we should mention Alabama is not in the day seven threat for Wednesday at this point. That could change. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Heavier totals north of the state. Parts of Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas could see over four inches. For our state, the amounts over the Tennessee Valley between two and three inches. About one to two inches for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. Lighter amounts for the southern half of the state under one inch there. So, model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run. Ballot tomorrow afternoon at 3. Broad troughing over the east and the clipper coming down the pike. And that might bring a couple of rounds of light showers to North Alabama. The first batch could come through tomorrow morning. This is 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, suggesting a chance of light rain showers and maybe some light snow showers over the northeastern corner of the state. But again, for most of Alabama, the day is going to be dry tomorrow with a high in the 50s. But again, that's the first batch. This is the second batch tomorrow night. This is tomorrow night just before midnight suggesting a chance of showers. And then Saturday morning at 5 a.m., there could be snow showers or snow flurries, again, over the far northern and northeastern part of the state, places like Huntsville, Scottsboro, Fort Payne. But again, for most of the state, not much to this. And then during the day Saturday, a beautiful day, we'll start the day well down in the 30s. The high will be in the upper 50s with a sunny sky. This is Sunday. We start the day in the 30s, the high mid to upper 60s. That'll feel pretty good. Then next week, moisture returns. This is Monday. Very mild. We'll be close to 70, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers. Tuesday of next week, pretty much the same thing. Highs in excess of 70, a very mild day. Cloudy. Showers are possible. Heaviest rain probably north of the state. And then Wednesday, a fairly dynamic system comes in here with widespread rain and thunderstorms. And the question is, could we see any severe weather on Wednesday? And like I say, this, this is almost a week out. There's no way of knowing the specifics, the small-scale details of this. The GFS on this run, that looks more like a heavy rain event. But the European looks more like a severe weather event with a surface low north of the state under 1,000 millibars. So no doubt rain and strong storms on Wednesday. We will know much more about the uh, severe weather potential for that event by the time the weekend gets here. Then a week from today, this is Thursday, the 5th of March, troughing over the northeast and a very dry air mass. We'll go out 10 days. This is Sunday, March 8th, the zonal flow, and maybe a few showers creeping in here, but probably nothing too heavy. Here's the rain for Birmingham. This is off the European Ensemble. We're looking for the mean, the green line, about 2 inches over the next 15 days, about what you expect in March. And look at the warmth coming in here next week. Again, after this cool snap we have now, a good chance we'll see at least low 70s on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And hot off the presses from CPC. This is the 8 to 14 day outlook for March 6th through March 12th. 
suggesting temperatures very close to average for Alabama during that time frame. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.